To me, the Air and Space Museum is literally one of the best places on Earth. Space has been something that's always been a part of my life. My father worked for NASA, and he really was a rocket engineer. I went to my first launch when I was four. And my mom was a science teacher, so to me, science and space was just something I grew up around. But as a kid, you know, picking up rocks and being fascinated by the natural world was just something that I did. All of a sudden, I realized there was this thing, geology, that you could read layers of rock like, like pages in a history book. My freshman year of college, I worked at the Center for Earth and Planetary Studies here at the museum. I loved coming in the morning before there was anyone here and just being able to sort of absorb the atmosphere and just the artifacts and the stories they told. And I was really inspired. You know, to me, there's been no more exciting phase in my career than, than coming to the National Air and Space Museum because it's really sort of the culmination of the things that I feel have been in my life from exploring space to the importance of aviation to how do we engage the public when I think about watching kids come through the door, my dream for them is that they'll be inspired the way that I was. This is one of the most visited museums in the world. I mean, over eight million people come through these doors. So, wow, what an opportunity. And let's tell them the best story that we can. This is an incredibly exciting time for our museum here downtown because we're about to undergo a major renovation of the building. It gives us the opportunity to really transform a lot of the galleries. We want everyone anywhere in the world to be able to experience our artifacts, our stories, that inspiration. How do we truly have a museum without walls? How do we bring everybody in? Through the transformation of our building here on the National Mall, we're really going to be able to inspire that next generation. It's someone from their generation that will be the first person to step onto the surface of Mars. And that's incredibly exciting to me. We have to make sure we're making everybody feel welcome because we don't know where that next drop of genius is coming from. I hope when people walk through this door, they feel that sense of wonder, but also, wow, we can do some pretty great things when we put our minds to it.